Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this tutorial. And today we'll go straight to placing our access ladder to the whole structure. The access ladder is very important when uh, doing or when uh, undertaking the installation of uh, steel members at a height of 16 meters or at a height way, way far off from the ground level. And also access ladder is very important when you are now placing your uh, advertising advertisement canvas now we'll go straight and start placing the uh, the guiding points where which will guide us in placing where will be which will guide us in placing the access ladder we'll come to uh, 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 to points then we'll pick at any position and we want to use two points or points to help us in placing the the access ladder now i'll pick on that spot and pick on this spot right there then i'll pick on another position here from this spot to this spot right there now i'll transfer this by right clicking and coming into and uh, coming to pick this point from this end and place it here now i want to copy this point down by I want to offset it down by 500. I'll click on copy, but I want to copy it from this spot, but in that, in that direction, I'll type 500 on my keyboard, 500 and enter. I'll right click and zoom out and check whether where that has located itself. Now, again, from this point, from this point, from that point, I want to offset it by five meters. I'll click on it. I want to pick it from that position and give it a direction that direction then type five meters down then enter on my keyboard then I'll, I'll use this two this and uh, uh, this 500 offset and this spot just to define the define my the perimeters of my the parameters of my ladder access ladder now having done that we'll go straight to applications and components here and i'll just type ladder or s s35 s35 then from here i'll pick that ladder then i'll zoom out and in and pick on, on the positions or the points i want to place my ladder fr uh, from and to and pick on that Then wait for the ladder to appear then we will make our i will make the necessary adjustments to our preferred settings now from here i'll pick on this ladder i'll pick on it right click and cl uh, click move now i want to move this ladder off the main column by 350 i'll enter on my keyboard right there then i'll zoom out and uh, now I'll close this having done that I'll come to view and uh, navigate rotate with mouse and press my left button on the mouse and turn this round like this from here I want to create some support uh, from the main or the primary column to our ladder remember these supports will be welded and be transported together with the with this main uh, main column and the ladder will be just bolted on it the, the, the ladder will be carried separate and then i'll come to steel here i'll come to steel beam and i'll pick that i'll come all the way and start my i'll start that from that spot and give it a direction to that spot then uh, i want th the length of that supporting uh, steel member to be 500 millimeter i'll enter on my keyboard right there right click this is a steel bar i'll pick on that right click and come to move from here i'll pick that and move it here remember this steel bar you can you can change by double clicking then going you just double click that once you've double clicked that this steel beam profile will come then you go under under general come to profile then click this then it will take you to the catalog let me just click that and show you how it works the moment you click on this it will uh, take you to it will prompt you with a dialog box of steel catalog 
Now, from this uh, steel catalog, you'll be able to pick on the appropriate member you'll, you'd want to use apart from the flat bar. The flat bar, I, I got it from uh, plate, uh, plate profiles here. We go down to plate profiles. Plate profiles are here. These are plate, pro uh, plate profiles. I picked here. I picked plate, PLT, or you can pick the FLT. They're the same thing. Then I'll just go uh, ahead and click modify, ap apply, and, and, and give it an OK. And there you go. Come here and do the same thing. Mod we click modify. Now, I did that. Then I'll come here and right click and come to move. I want to shift this slightly down by 100 millimeter. I'll, I'll move it from that spot and I'll type, I'll move it by 100 millimeter. That's it. Now I want to bolt this. I want to bolt this. I'll come to steel, I'll come to b uh, bolts. I'll pick on this and uh, pick on this and I'll press my 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 milled mouse my space bar uh, click on that spot and i want that my bolt to be on a straight line i'll double click on this just to change the ori orientation of my of my bolt i'll come here i'll just i'll just scroll down scroll down then give it back that, that, that is not the appropriate position of rotation. I'll pick below and see how that uh, that is the position I want that to be placed. And just I'll kind of scroll up, and uh, you can change the size of the bolting by picking these standard size of bolts under on 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 BS standards, the UK standard or the UK environment and that particular structures. Now I'll close this. I'll close this. Now I'll copy this member and prior to copying I want to weld this member to the main or the primary column. I'll come to applications and component here and I'll type weld, type weld, I'll pick on stanchion weld and I'll weld this to this. I'll weld that to that and there's, there's something happening which is not right. What I'll do, I'll delete this bolt, I'll delete that bolt and uh, I'll do everything here and do everything here and delete this bolt first and I want to weld. Now I want to weld this to this first. And do that. I'll try weld this to that. Which is not right. Which is not right. Perfect. Now I'll come to view i'll come to navigate here and click on this and check what what have gone wrong it has not extended properly now i'll click on that and add 550 and enter on my keyboard and what i'll do i'll come here and click weld this to this and come to navigate here and click on that and turn that round like that perfect then i'll come to steel I'll come to steel, I'll come to bolt again, I'll click on this and this, then I'll press my spacebar on the keyboard and snap on that spot and direct my cursor in that direction to ensure that my bolts are online. There we are. Then I want to copy this the other side. I'll pick on this, then right click and click copy. Then I'll pick it from this spot and take it all the way to the other end take you all the way to the other end. Perfect. Perfect. I'll delete this. This I'll delete also. I'll delete that. There's something we've jumped. We'll undo, I'll un we'll undo everything. We'll undo everything. Then we'll copy this prior to welding. We'll copy this the other side. We'll copy this from, I mean, just hide, select that, then click copy. Come to this spot, pick on that, then go all the way to this end and place it there. Right click and click move.
Then I click on this again and click right, right click and click move. I want to move this from this corner to that corner. Having done that, I'll come now to bolts. I'll come now to weld and weld this to this and weld and weld that to that. Let's see what's happening. I'll rotate that about that and it's not right. It's not right. I'll click outside. Then double click on this. I'll not double click on that. Just, just click on it. Come there and check what might be wrong. Then come to steel, come to bolt, pick on this, pick on that, play, play, press well, uh, space bar on the keyboard, run all the way to that straight line and place your bolt there. Double click on this member, on this bolt. Once we've double clicked, we want to change the orientation of that, of this member. We'll come down here and uh, we pick top. Perfect, we'll close this and close that and come to view come to navigate and change this do the same thing this side and i'll show i'll i'll, I'll, I'll show you the the settings of my of, of of my ladder i'll come to steel i'll come to bolt i'll, I'll pick on that and pick on this and press my space bound on the keyboard and i will go straight to that spot and place my bolt there. I'll double click just to change the orientation of my, of my bolt. I'll just zoom out, come here and peek below and come here and change that. Perfect. Just scroll out, scroll out, right click and redraw. Now I'll come here pick on this, press control and pick on that, press control, pick on that, press control and pick on that. Then right click, come here and go to special copy, then come to linear, come to linear. Then we need four of these. We'll just go straight one meter, one meter and click copy and give it an okay right there. Now, if you come to view, you come to navigate and rotate with mouse you'll see that our ladder has been placed and these are the supports for our ladder now i'll take you through the, the settings of my of my ladder access ladder for this whole structure or for the for the billboard to do that i'll just come here and double click on uh, on the ladder then uh, on this dialog box i'll close this on this dialog box I changed this to 500 and uh, since this distance to this distance is 450 and uh, the stringer thickness is uh, is uh, is 10 millimeter what I've done what I've done I've considered the thickness of both stringers and increased this to 470 then this this height from 1.1 I changed this to 500 then uh, I came here and then I came here and changed this angle to 45 and rotate, rotated my, my ladder to that direction, to this direction. That's all. I come here and modify, apply and accept. I'll close this. Then what I'll do, I'll populate this, I'll populate this down. I'll click on it right click and come to a special copy and come to linear under linear i want to copy this down by five meters five meters then i need only one i'll go ahead and click copy and give it an okay right there and i'll come here i'll come here and see and check whether what what has what has been done is right Now I'll click on it again, click on it again and click move. Or I can just go and undo this. 
I'll click on it again right click and click special copy and click linear and come here and feed 55 5.5 meters and click OK right click and we are good to go this is our access ladder and you can come up here and check what we've done which we check what we've done and this is where we are now we'll copy these main supports here we'll copy these supports pick on that and pick on the bolts pick on the, that bolt right click and come to copy we want to copy it from this spot we'll copy it from that location and run all down all the way to this end and come all the way here and place it there then we want to offset these these members down down by want to move them down let me just uh, speak, uh, peak on a special move then a peak linear I want to move it down by 500 I want to move it down by 500 500 click move perfect and give it an OK right there and come to navigate and rotate this turn this round like this what what seems to appear that is that uh, it is uh, uh, the, the, the supports are uh, attaching themselves into a wrong position now we'll rework on that we'll come back again and click undo then right click and come to special move and click linear then we'll come here under uh, under 500 and type 1 meter one minute I'll take it off that from that inappropriate position and we'll click on this we'll click on that and turn this round that will be okay now this one will populate down we'll right click and come to special copy here and come to linear and we want a meter a meter we want 700, we want 700 by 4 or 5 of them and go click copy and click OK. Here we are and we can navigate and rotate this using a mouse. We've reinforced our ladder here. This is our ladder. Then again, we want to copy this down. Pick on this. Right click and come to special copy and click linear. Under linear, we want to copy this by 5 meters, 5.5. 5, 5. Then we just need one of one of this. We'll click copy and we'll give it an OK command. Then we come to navigate here and turn this round like this P check on that press control 2 and see how this is penetrating into the plate that's flashed with our plate then we come to navigate and click on that perfect now the next move what we are going to do right now is to take our supports down here and we'll press control 4 just to take us on uh, the previous 3d presentation we had pr uh, before we we'll want to pick this we want to pick this press control pick on that press control pick on the bolts pick on that right click and go to copy then zoom out and pick this from this from that position then we'll move down to that ladder move to this ladder place it here 
then we give it an offset of 500 of that joint and pick on this press control pick on that pick the bolts here then right click come to special move here click linear then uh, we give it an offset of 500 will be appropriate then click move click ok right click then we come to the same same spot right click and come to a special copy linear then uh, come to 7 700 and we want five of them or four of them then click ok we'll just work with five then click ok click copy give it an ok then I scroll down to check whether what we've done is right press control 2 to check any conflicting placement now here we are and we'll go back and press control 4 we'll click right click and redraw now if you take a look you'll see that we've finalized our ladder placement and remember the reason why we are splitting these ladders because is because this this column will be welded and this flange will be placed this column will be welded separate and the sup the supports for the for the ladder will be welded permanently and uh, the ladder will be welded separately and be transported separately and be assembled on site bolted to that then that be transported separately and be bolted to that now part of the ladder we are done with and we want to play some bit of bit of supports first of all let me just take you through this ladder how it looks now and to the view that will show you that properly is uh, is a perspective view i'll double click on the screen then this view properties will come up i'll pick on that and pick perspective then go to modify click modify apply and accept then i'll come to navigate and rotate with mouse and i'll turn this i'll turn that and be able to st start taking you through right from the zero zero level and i'll walk you through the staircase upward to the utmost height of 16 meters right there then from there from there we can now st pick on that spot and try to look down and try to look down to the zero level i'll come to i'll, I'll pick the plan view then uh, i'll be able to start looking down from zero, zero from a height of 16 meters from here that's it just go down to zero level uh, using the access stair uh, access ladder i'll repeat access ladder is very important when doing this kind of of project then i'll switch back again i'll switch back off i'll switch to my isometric view then again i'll zoom close to this i'll turn this around just to s let you see how this is appearing this is what we've done so far placing the access ladder to all the steel parts all the steel uh, steel structure of this size or of this height now if i turn this round you see we need to place a, a support here and a one here and some here just to just in case a wind of a wind of uh, a diverse effect of adverse effect ma might might really try to prove to be stronger than our structure then uh, we need to place some uh, bracings just to maintain the, the steel panel in, in position just in case a wind of of, uh, of uh, moderately high higher speed might try to destabilize the the steel panel or the steel framework of our billboard now i'll come here and start placing these bracings i'll use the R rhs but prior to doing that i want to switch back to my view of orthogonal i'll pick on that and pick modify and click modify ap apply and accept i'll come to navigate here and pick on that 
turn this round then I'll zoom out I'll come to steel I'll come to steel beam I'll pick on that I'll pick on that spot then I'll come here I'll come to view I'll come to navigate here and pick on that spot and turn this round like that right click and come to that then I'll snap on that spot we'll change this from uh, steel bar to R uh, RHS rectangular hollow section and I'll close this no I need to use that dialog box I'll double click again that will bring this dialog box back then I'll scroll up then come to profile this profile will take me to steel catalog where I'll be able to pick any or uh, the, uh, the appropriate steel profile for the bracings for the bracing I'll minimize this I'll come to rectangular hollow section here then under that I'll be able to pick RHS down here then come all the way to peak 80 I'll work with 80 by 40 by 3 millimeter thick I'll pick on that then come to apply and give it an OK I'll come here and modify I'll close this then from here I'll pick I'll, I'll I'll come here and weld this I'll pick on this first and want to move it closer to this position then come here and type weld stanchion and pick that and that and weld and I want to weld this also let me come here and check what is wrong here pick on that pick on that want to weld this this to this perfect right click and redraw this come to navigate and rotate this using a mouse now I want to populate this up and I want to pick it on uh, a particular point I want to pick it from that I'll, cl I'll, I'll click on it right click and come to copy then I'll pick it from this position here down here and go up to the same same position and uh, snap right there do the same thing and snap right here do the same thing and snap right here do the same thing and snap right here snap right here I'll do the same thing and snap right on top here perfect then I'll come to navigate and rotate this I'll rotate this like that turn this round you'll be able to see this has been really reinforced or braced properly so when uh, a wind of of higher speed will be able to get the equal force then I'll, I'll click on that right click and uh, redraw that turn that round and that is what we're having now let's go back to this spot we'll come to steel we'll come to beam there we'll pick a steel size we'll pick on steel beam then snap on that spot I'll target this end I'll come to view I'll come to navigate and rotate about that spot right click and exit then come to this bottom end and snap right there we want to weld we want to weld this member to this member and weld this member just zoom out want to weld this member to that member right click click and right right click and redraw now again we want to do the just the same same thing we'll close this now and we'll pick this from uh, a good position we want to pick it from this position here and uh, we want to populate it up I want to place this one here I want to place this one right here and we want to place another one 
on top here right on top here and we want to place another one just below this and we we'll move up and place another one here and these bracings are done once this has been installed up at that particular height we'll place that one here then we'll place the final one here right on top here perfect then if you come to navigate you'll be able to rotate this and see what you've done perfectly done this has been reinforced if you turn that round and click right click you'll be able to redraw this come to navigate and turn this round like this you'll be able to see that now we want to place another reinforcement or a bracing from this end we'll come to steel we'll come to steel beam here and we'll snap right at the bottom end there then come to view come to navigate here and turn this round turn this round like this right click and come to interrupt and we'll snap right there now we want to move this closer to this end we'll click on it right click and click move then we'll snap on that spot and snap on that spot right click we don't need the properties right there we'll close that now we'll come to applications and component and pick on weld on welding then we want to weld this to this perfectly welded not properly done we'll undo that and check how this is positioning it, is positioning it itself to this member we'll click on this right click and click move we want this to match that position and I'll come to navigate and rotate this come to come to stanchion weld I want to weld this to this perfectly done and also I want to weld this to that I'll right click I'll right click I'll click on that and right click and come to redraw then I'll click on this menu, right click and come to copy and a copy I want to copy this from this spot from this spot just zoom out and pick it from that spot then come up we want to reinforce this up here that will, will not be accurate we want to find another location where it will be accurate when placing these bracings I want to pick it from that spot then zoom out and come to this end to that end I placed a, bra a brace there then I want to place another brace bracing there or can be placed here right there then we delete the bottom one right click and delete that again we'll uh, pick it again from this end right click come to copy and we want to copy this from this position here come up and place that one place another one on that spot and zoom out place another one on this spot another one on this spot and we go up and place the final one up here final one up there that's perfect and our steel framework is very is very 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 stable that's perfect now we want to place another rain, uh, another brace we want to brace this side we want to place a bracing from this end to that end remember this these bracings are placed once this has been assembled to this joint by bolting and to this joint by bolting now this comes when the installation is done now this with this bracing just to maintain to make our framework have a rigid kind of effect kind of force to kind of force to any high speed wind loading 
no i'll come to still here i'll come to still beam and peek on that i'll snap right at the bottom there then come all the way i'll come to view first to rotate this i'll rotate that right click and interrupt then i'll come here and snap right at the bottom there i'll double click on that member just to shift it up slightly i'll come to position i'll come to depth i'll come to front i'll click that now it is in the right position what i'll do now i'll come to weld and i want to weld i want to weld this member to this member and uh, i want to weld this member to this member so right click and uh, redraw once you've done that we we want now to populate these to similar positions just to offer a, a strong pressings some uh, some strong support to our steel framework pick on that right click and come to copy we want to pick this from this position here right there and come all the way to the bottom end here bottom end here want to snap right there then we'll double click on this just to change its position we'll undo that or click on it right click and click move from this position just zoom out from this position from this position to this position perfect now we'll come up again and pick on this right click and click copy and you want to copy this down from that spot we'll run all the way down i'm not able to see the location i intend to place this not able to see clearly though some parts can be hidden but th that one show you on a particular day right click and come all the way down here down there and place your member there come to navigate and rotate this i'll pick on this member again right click and come to copy and i want to copy it from this spot from this spot and uh, bring it down here or I'll, na I'll navigate up I'll navigate up and place it somewhere here I'll undo this and I'll copy this up right click and click move from this spot to this spot perfect now I'll come back and click copy from this spot again down to this end down to this spot perfect then I'll go down here to a point you'll be able to see clearly by going to navigate and rotate using mouse then we'll exit from that command then this will snap on that spot click on empty screen right click and come to redraw right click and come to navigate and rotate with mouse and we'll be able to turn that round turn this like that and this is what we've done actually for now now i'll take you back to the previous view of perspective view by double clicking on the screen and changing to perspective view then i'll come to navigate and be able to turn this round like that and be able to see our structure fully be able to turn that round be able to take this walk from up turn that perfectly and neatly done come to navigate turn that round perfect perfectly done now i'll press ctrl 2 so that we have a look at the foundation how the rebars were laid I'll press ctrl 2 
and we'll be able to see how rebars were placed. This is how our rebars were placed. We have the cast in place plate that will retain our, bo our, our anchor bolts in position while doing the casting so that when you come with, with this column it will just meshing or uh, matching properly. Perfect. This is all we've done. And this is our billboard structure. Press control 4 and we'll take you to back up to to back uh, back take you back to our previous view. Then this is what we've done. Thanks a lot for watching this video and let's meet on the next presentation. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye bye.